presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year, and, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. Like that and I got over a fifty percent return in one day, not counting uh, everything else. But I just want to thank you. Tom's not perfect, but he tells you how to put your stops in, and he keeps your losses small. You can take your small losses, but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Bruce, and you'll hit a home run. I mean, a big home run. Yeah. And put the money in your pocket. Okay, I mean, brother. I You're awesome, man. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here sitting in for Tom O'Brien. I usually do the 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock Tiger Technicians Hour Eastern Time, that is. And my service here is the opening call, my daily newsletter, very thorough news, a newsletter that goes through all these different uh, aspects of commodities, etc. Now what we're looking at is the Dow. When you consider this big move up in the green candle, uh, let me do a couple of things as I'm saying that. I've been for about three weeks or so now. Usually on a Tuesday, I'm interviewed by Tom, and I discuss. No, this is not the chart I wanted. I discuss some of the technical aspects in the Chapman Wave methodology. And if you're looking at this chart that I'm showing you right now, this is a daily chart. And instead of the price, the bars that you usually see or the candles, I've just got a thick a gray line, and that represents the closing price of the Dow. And what I've been talking about is that when this green 9 EMA is above the 14 period moving average, it can take quite a while, especially if you make an M-shaped pattern, for it to turn negative. And negative will go from green to pink. Well, it went to pink and it's still pink on that sharp move down. And um, there's a divergence now because if you're looking at the Dow, which is now up um, $3 at 33628 I'll go to the charts in a moment. If you look at the S&P using just this very simple technique, look, the S&P is still green. It went for a day. It went red or pink. And now it's back to green. So the nine is still commanding the, the weight of evidence of the, of the buying power. That's the way I look at it. Look at the QQQ. It never even turned pink. Um, after that, uh, for one day it did, but while the Dow uh, late April, early May, uh, and the S&P were down, this held beautifully, and even now it's making an M-shaped pattern in price, but that nine-period moving average is still very nice. Look at the IWM, the Russell 2000, down. Uh, now it's unchanged, 174.09. That, it turned negative and it's been negative and it'll take quite a bit to left to go to 175 well probably 176.80 to start um, crossing positive again otherwise it remains in a sell mode now let me do a couple of other things i just wanted to show you what i'm re what i'm really looking at no nope, i don't want to this chart right here this is what i show my subscribers in fact let me show you what i do um, every day i have uh, my traders corner plus the chart of the dow or whatever stocks or um, uh, instrument we want to be buying or shorting. So this is what I give. This was yesterday's close. Then I just give Dow close down minus five, and I give a whole bunch of things that we're looking at. There's a Chapman Wave Roman candle there. We closed nicely above it. That was a big good. That was a really strong sign. Friday, Monday, we made a slightly lower high. So that that's called gray. Peak A because the MACD and stochastic were still very weak and the line was under the 14. And I, I, I said, uh, let's see, uh, if the Dow today, if the Dow is holding a minus 60s or more after 1.30 p.m., the chances increase for a weak close. However, if there is a bounce from this early pre-open selling pressure to flip to positive, that alone will force some short covering, allowing for a much narrower close, maybe even up. Dow's right now minus seven. So uh, within the context of my work, I always try to identify the lowest low bar, count each successively higher peak, alphabetize them sequentially, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. But it's that fourth highest peak, P, D, where other things can happen. It can go quickly to an E, and that'll be the same sort of thing. 
Uh, we'll come back to that in a moment. Let me just show you what we, where we are right now. So the Dow went to this peak E and it went to a technique that I call the Chap Wave Inside Track Repellent Zone. Look at this green and pink. You see that resistance, boom, 34,257 in the Dow and it pulls back and it takes out the risings like a, like a wedge formation. This rising wedge, Chap Wave Inside Track Support Level took it out and now it's trying to break above it. That's going to be the big thing. Can it do it? Look, the MACDs is the daily chart. MACDs weak, stochastics weak, unbalanced volume is really poor, very weak volume. So price has to lead the technicals in this particular instance. And that would say by Tuesday, if the Dow is not trading the 30, uh, 30, it's at 33,619, it would have to get above this trend line. So 33,900s, if it hasn't gone into that area, that says the sideways choppy pattern that I've been expecting for this particular phase from last week, um, that, could, that could be unfolding. And if you look at the weekly chart, see the V-shaped pattern is losing momentum to the upside. But the stochastic and MACD and the 9 period moving areas are all very positive, yet the price hasn't been able to get that momentum to cross into the 34,300s, 400s. So I'm watching this closely. The monthly finally is trying to attempt to break out of the resistance. Okay, now we'll just do this quickly. S&P, S&P at this particular point, um, it's had a really good retracement from the 41,000, 40,41.86 high down to the uh, 40, 40, 50 area low, and now it's bounced. It's at 40, 41.26 down 11. Here again, the nine period moving average is good. The, the MACD is not, the stochastics weak, but price is the arbiter of the trend. So far, it's holding very well. You want to see by Friday afternoon, maybe Monday sometime, you want to see at least a test of the 4158 level. Um, that's not too bad. It's only 30 points from here. It's about 300 Dow points. And on the downside, definitely you want to see it hold the 41.20 to 4100 level over the next couple of days. QQQ, NDX uh, had had fabulous, it had Meta, it had Microsoft, it had a couple of really good earnings uh, releases that helped. Even if it was just a few stocks, a handful of stocks that led the way up, it did lead the way up, and you went to the inside track repellent zone. And that says by about Tuesday of next week, Tuesday, maybe even Wednesday, give it a whole week, you want to see trading not just a bounce but trading in the 325 area that's only four points away but that would say you've broken the resistance the weekly chart is strong as it is it should continue higher it's got tremendous support in the 319 to 3 short term 319 to 318 317 area looking out i wouldn't be surprised if we start to make a trading band a much wider trading band between the 327 area and maybe the three Oh, you can even go down to the 310, retest that 310 low from April. All right, let's do the IWM, the Russell 2000. Try to rally. It's just it's not a good pattern. This is that H pattern that I always talk about where you come down sharp, you make an arch formation. So far, that's held uh, in the weekly chart. The daily chart, the same thing. You want to see a good rally going into the 178s by Friday or Monday. Definitely has to hold 167. I will be back in a moment. Dow's down 8, S&P's down 12. I want to be talking about KRE. That is the regionals, S&P Regional Banks. I'll be back. Basil Chapman sitting here for Tom O'Brien. Be back in a few minutes. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kickstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstad breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. Basil sitting in for uh, Tom O'Brien. We're looking at uh, PLTR. This is Palantir uh, Technologies, Inc. Develops data fusion platforms. I got this mixed up this morning. I did everything correctly that I wanted to do. The only thing is I called it. I thought it was, uh, uh, what is it, PLTR instead of Peloton. I, that's what I thought it was, Peloton, but it's not. It is, it is something completely different. And Peloton... P T O N. So everything I was discussing, yes, this is a really big spike to the upside. Uh, it's been struggling for a long time. This makes the 200 period moving average is up 23%, uh, up $1.84 at 9.59. And as Tommy Jr. always says, don't be, don't, don't, be, don't be confused and very impressed by the, the power of low numbers when it comes to percentages, but it is a big percentage, nevertheless. 9, 9.59 on PLTR. Yes, it's turning this 200-period uh, moving average of 8.69 into very important support over the next entire week. You need a week because of this. If, if tomorrow it has a higher high and it doesn't have any trading below the open price, which was at uh, 9.22, that'll be really impressive. If it takes it out, then you have to watch because if, it, if it's like, at this point, it's a chapter of Roman candle, green one. If it starts to trade for about an hour under nine, it could retest yesterday's lows. But the way it's acting, the way it's near the high of the day, I like this. I, I, just in terms of candles, this is a really impressive candle. Probably going to try for a high, high tomorrow and turn that whole area of 925 to 915 into at least very near term support. Peloton hasn't started its uh, ascent, is still in the descent mode. So a question came in about, um, let me do this, I don't want to get out of turn, BWTX. So BWTX is, oh, did I write the wrong thing down? I did. So now let me see if I can find it. Oh, it's so many, so many charts away. Uh, BBBB, is it there? No, it's not. BTWX, BTWX, I knew there was, let me see. No. Oh, please. Uh, pop into the den and give me that symbol again. I just, oh, I think I can find it. Here we are. Hold on. Find out who did it. There it is. And that is, oh, I'm getting there. Oh, I've got it. I think I've got it. Uh, let's just do that. Pop it in. Oh, there it is. Okay, BWXT. Had two symbols incorrect. BWXT had all the right letters, just put them in the wrong place. 
Yeah, so the, so this B, BWXT reported last, last night a sleeper nobody talks about. Absolutely, I did talk about it when this person mentioned it quite some, there it is, thank you, mentioned it some time ago. I haven't updated this, but it's, oh, fantastic action. So I remember I did a couple of things, and then I don't think we, I looked at it, uh, I think Fletch in the Den has already had this for a while. So let me just finish this up. A, B, C, D, E. Oh, my. What a, oh, what a nice move. So what we're looking at here is, oops, is that an A? No, that's an A. So Chapman Wave A, B, C, D, and there's your E. This is outstanding. I had drawn this in a long time ago. I really, I just, all I remember is that I drew in the lines. I don't think I even looked at it after that. So this, here's the Chapman Wave inside track, repellent zone. I used the height that was back in um, December, the beginning of December at about uh, 62 pulls back sharply to where the 200 period moving average became a beautiful springboard for a move to the upside. It goes to a leg D, fourth highest peak is what your objective is in the Chapman Wave methodology. If you get an upgrade from a buy signal to a buy mode, it pulls back from that 64 area, pulls back, and then it walks the nine period moving average, and it goes to today's high leg, E, I'm calling it. Uh, 67.24 is the high, it's at 66.84, up $1.75. And now I can't remember what they did. BWX Technologies, Inc. Fabulous move. Now the target I would have, so the daily, this is a brand new peak A, peak B, peak C, and there's your D. And remember, you got to, you, your objective in the Chapman Wave, only objective really is to count, absolutely be sure that each one's a peak, a higher peak, because it made a leg up and then it made a lower high. That becomes a peak, just like a mountain peak. And that is a peak right there. So this is leg D. So this is actually acting very well. And I would say that the 69 to 70 area would be my target. And if I had to do a price time lapse to do, ooh, this is a tough one. Yeah. If I had to do a price time, yeah, I would, I would do this. I would say, this is May, by the, the second week, second, about the second week of June, I would not be surprised if it's gotten really close to the 70, 69 area, maybe 70 even. It's looking great. And the key support now is at 63. Hope that helps you. <clears throat> um, uh, let me just do this again. I, I've got it in list. I've got it down. Oh, so KRE. So this is your regional banks just smashed to the downside trading uh just a couple of months ago up in the 65 area cascades down to 34.52 with the chapman wave volume price climax right on the 4th of may at 34.52 so i had said to subscribers if my if my uh analysis is correct i usually like to get a third gap to the downside where the just everything but the, with the baby and the bathwater is thrown out, people just say, I'm done with the stock, and the volume is huge. Well, it did that right there. And my thinking is, and still uh, was and still is, that this could be a, a low that could hold for 28 sessions. That's the rule of thumb with this particular technique. But you need to, if you're going to fill the gap, very quickly you've got to get to a leg B. So this is a peak A right now. It's trading at 37.58. We had a trade, a small position. I made the stop really tight, like I think it was maybe 2%, maybe less. We did get stopped out today, and now it's come back. In fact, right now it's even higher than it was at the entry point that we got in uh, yesterday when I said buy the big pullback, and that's what we wanted. But I cannot, I could not uh, hold buy and hold and say, okay, we're going to make it much wider. Why? Because in this particular move, with a climactic move like that, if it starts to fill in this this candle, that's not what I like. What I'm seeing right now is much better, and tomorrow it has to try to get to 38.75, 39.20, and that should be it with the 36s. It's done. Today's low is 36.64. That's the way it should be. I'm only saying should be because that weekly chart is just Horrible. The unbalanced volume is over oversold. 
But look at the stochastic flat at 8%. That's, but look at the MACD. Look at the distance in the MACD between the line period differential. Look at the histogram. That's telling you the distance between these two lines of the weekly chart. And look at the line period moving out. So this is a process. And if you look at left side, right side price time matches, look at the 33.48 low that was made around about July of 2020. Screams up to 78.81. And comes back, and where does it stop? At 34.52. 33.48 was the same number of bars to the upside as it was to the downside this month. So you've got everything in place to say this could be the time for a bounce. Let's just see in the uh, futures what happened to the gold. I'd say that it did exactly the same arch formation. Left side, right side, price time match. Let's have a look. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, right there. I'll be back in a moment. Uh, Dow is down six, SP is down 30. Basil Chapman sitting here for the one and only Tom O'Brien. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the US futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding the reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. .com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, so I had a question about uh, Boozy Call. Uh, they, they make smart glasses. Uh, where is it? S M there. Uh, smart glasses, augmented reality. Hmm. Sounds like a politician to me. Um, and it's trading at 4.46 up 40 cents. So the monthly chart made a peak D. Remember the objective in the chapter wave is to get you to at least a peak D. In this case, you got the buy signal went peak A, peak B, C, and a D right in 2021, around about 32, 33. <clears throat> Comes back, makes the Eiffel Tower straight up. 
straight down, and then it finds support. And this is what happens in this particular pattern. Sometimes it comes back so severely, it looks like it's going to end the world and take out the left side low, but it doesn't. It finds some support at about uh, maybe uh, you know, just more than two-thirds. It's almost, I'd say, about 80% decline. And then it starts to find a base. So you can see in the weekly chart, it's tried to rally once before, had a fabulous percentage gain <clears throat> from the fours to the sixes, pulls back, and now it's at 446. And today it's got a very nice move of 40 cents, <clears throat> a big spike to the upside. So what I'm looking at in terms of what what's the wave count, I've got this because it never took out the left side low of 3.47, yeah, 3.47 back on the 13th of March. You went to a peak deep pullback, make an arch formation. This could turn into a beautiful cup formation if there are two closes out of three above the high of the 12th of April. That's a 434, 439, trading at 446. So I'm watching this closely. If it does that, then makes another leg up. I will have to call that a leg C. It's very bullish and says that the target would be the top of this candle. Oh, I know that's a little bit much. 4, 483. No, not too much. 483 was the high of, the, of February, the week of the 24th of this year. And that, but it has to hold 420 to 412 as support. That's really important. Okay, so I hope that helps you. Next question I got was Apple. <clears throat> Apple's made a peak G in the Chapman wave. It's a very unusual. Usually I go G slash C because <clears throat> it could be an alternate count. And the whole pattern itself right at this moment is suggesting <clears throat> that if Apple trading at uh, 171.89 down a dollar 81, <clears throat> the 5th of May, the high was 174.30. This is only leg C in the weekly chart. This is still very bullish. The breakout in the monthly chart says this, this is a fabulous, I mean, this is really a good looking stock. So um, the question would be, did you just ask me for, Nancy, if you have time, it has been weaker than the NQ. Yeah, but this is just today. So let me do the analysis as you're looking at it right now. Apple <clears throat> made a high yesterday, couldn't continue that high uh, two days ago, couldn't continue three days ago, couldn't continue the high yesterday, but had a pretty good day. Didn't even take out halfway of the of the whole candle of yesterday. But today it's pulling back. It, the nine period moving average is still very strong, way over the 14. Um, I had drawn this in recently here to say this is a this is this is a trend line I'd be watching. Now can I draw this trend line and make it parallel? If I can make it parallel, I don't make it. If it comes out to be parallel, there you are. So this is saying we know now exactly what the parameters are. If Apple in the next three days, and I, I'm looking at this, and I, I'll go through the market just in a few moments because I, I want to do an overview. I'll do it tomorrow in my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour at 10 o'clock, and then I'm out for uh, just over a week, um, and I'll, I'll be back. But and I just uh, I'm looking at this and saying Apple at 174.30 saw the MACD start to cross positive. The on-balance volume <clears throat> is very weak. The stochastic's at 77. I love when it's over 80%. So 77 says, mm, it's not quite there. I like what I'm seeing. And I have to tell you, I'm. if we were going to get this bearish kind of action, the Dow at this point should have been minus 285 to minus 335. S&P should be about minus 57 to minus 67. I'm not getting that. There are people there. There are fund managers. There are people that are actually doing some buying. Yes, I know we've got things hanging. We always have some. Let me talk about the things hanging over. Um, in this context, it's something that I do, and I've done this for years. Uh, if I can just get that out the way and then just get that out the way, I'll show you. I call this, there it comes. Chapman Wave Dark News Cloud Cover. It's something I discovered way back. And what it is, I look at the, <clears throat> I look at an earthquake and the after aftershocks. 
Now, you know, with an earthquake, you can get aftershocks that are just nothing. You can get a whole series that just keep going kidum, 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 or you can get an aftershock that's even worse than the earthquake. So that's one aspect that I look at. How would I define it in terms of uh, our late Dave White, our wonderful guru of the technical side? Well, I discuss this with him very often. It is really hard to get numbers when you're talking about an emotional thing. So I do it on the upside and I do it on the downside. But we have had for over a year now, since November the 11th, uh, 2022, I typed in, um, this is this is the shorter term, um, that in the daily chart, we've had an overhang of bad news, and yet the market has come down so sharply, and yet we've still got internal lows and residual lows. I call them internal high and residual high. I don't actually put that in. It's just too messy. But my concept here is that it makes an internal high, then just a nominal new high, or just fails, and then it takes out the support level. And on the downside, you get the internal low where everything looks terrible. Then the residual low is where it sounds terrible because the media has picked up on it. But actually, if you look at the technicals, they've already improved. Um, and here we are, internal low, residual no, Right now, we've made an internal low and a residual uh, internal high on the 14th, was that the, no, the 13th of April. Remember, we actually went short the very day after the, um, the top in the S&P, and then we covered it on Friday, took some profits, and now we're, we're looking at to see what, what, what's next to do. And then this big pop-up here, and now we've taken out the low. So this just says, as far as I'm concerned, we are in a process right now that says you've got, uh, there's a lot of negativity out there, Apple's holding, that was your question, Apple. Apple's holding, well, it's been the star of the show in many ways, considering that it didn't, it pulled back from 182 to 124. Um, 60 points sounds like a lot. But let me tell you something. We saw some of these tech stocks tank uh, 50, 80%. Some even went 90% down. So this is holding very well. Now, I think your question was more the short term. I would say I would keep my eye on Apple. I would put Apple in the category of um, a kind of stalwart. This is this is in the Dow. It's in the NASDAQ. It's in the S&P. It's just everywhere. It's one of the reasons why the market actually lately has held very well. So I like what I'm seeing. I would say if Apple closes under 100 and what is this, 169, if it closes under 168 for two out of three sessions, then I'll start to worry about it. Just in the short term, I'd be looking to see where would, I would like to buy. But if you are long, that's the level I'd look at. I'd get a little, I'd get cautious if it, it took out 169 to 168 support. I'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. 
Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Hi folks, Basil Chapman, Dallas on 18, S&P's down 15. I just wanted to show you, this is the Chapman Wave automated uh, support and resistance levels. They're called projections. Uh, this is McDonald's. I was asked about McDonald's. And you can see underneath here in the daily chart at 286, I got 286.78 and 286.11 as support. I've got uh, the resistance at 292. Uh, 292 is we're above that. And then I've got resistance in the weekly chart at 304 and then 313. Way up there. I've got 271 and then 288 in the monthly charts and then nothing. 299 in the 120-minute uh, ch chart and 294 as support. However... I wanted to show you something here. Uh, using the same technique, looking at Apple, Apple broke the 170 uh, resistance. 179, the daily is way up there. There's nothing in the weekly chart, and there's 179 to 180 in the monthly charts. And uh, what I would say is this, and 170.64, <clears throat> in the 120 minute chart. So I like to, I don't actually use this all that, that much. Uh, sometimes I regret that I don't, but I don't remember to do everything and I try my best to kind of figure it out. For instance, I look at the left side, right side, price time match. I look at double bottoms, double tops. Let me, let me show you something very interesting. <clears throat> I'll come back to these in a moment. Look, here's the gold with that double bottom. It broke it, made an arch formation. This is what we call the dreaded H. Made a lowercase H to a lowercase M. And now it's just trading sideways. A rectangle formation, especially a narrow one, can last a lot longer than your patience. So he has gold stuck in that range. But wait a minute, ESM23. This is the one-minute chart. Look at this matching time frame. Look at this. Left side right here. Larry did a great show, um, as he always does. Two hours he did. And he was talking about these different patterns. I have something else that I call the time price, matching time price, which is really simply put, it's called bar symmetry. That's the, the, the name that would sum summarize it very clearly. Look at this. The number of bars on the left side to the number of bars on the right side can be matched. You've got to pick. Sometimes, look, you can pick the uh, exact high. Where was it? In gold. I don't want to go back there. And it, it has a perfect arch going up and then an arch to the, it's called um, uh, Aku. Uh, on the way, the semicircle, quarter circle on the way up and the quarter circle on the way down. And look at this beautiful, look at this, just coming right into test at 14.55, that's 2.55 this, this, this afternoon. 41.35.25 was the low. The low right now, two bars early is 41. 35.50. I mean, I, you can't make this up because this is live. This is what I'm showing you right now. So in these particular patterns, I look at what gets tested. But once you've broken out like this, you have to say, look at Apple. The high that was made back in, was it February? When was that? <clears throat> oh, sorry, July. At 163.63, um, 
163 cannot be. 163.63 and Apple's trading at 172. Wait, that was the high? And we haven't gotten to that high. 176.15. Okay, 176.15, that's better. Okay, 176.15, and here we are with a high just a few days ago in the 174s. So you can see there's a nice breakout here. It's attempting to retest that high. If it closes above that high, or at least even if it, it's a monthly chart, if it goes above that high, look at the left side high of the March. This is almost at the all-time high. March, uh, March of 2022, 179.61, and then 182.94. I like this. I think fund managers keep drifting to this every time the market uh, shows some kind of buying. It includes Apple. So, okay, that was the Apple question. Next one was right here. Oh, where, where am I? I go. Oh, that's right. <clears throat> I, uh, Oxy is coming out with earnings. Oxy, Occidental, OXY, and doesn't, uh, doesn't what's his name, B Buffett have a bunch of Oxy? I think he does. Occidental Petroleum made a double top high back in uh, August, I think it was. Of, yeah, August of 2022. At 77, at 7713, retest is the way these stocks come back and retest within a penny. 7611 was the high in November. It comes down, makes this pattern that I call the dreaded H. Let me just show you this based on the Chubway methodology. Come on, where are you? Right there, look at this. So I like to look at two patterns in particular. There it is, if I can get move that out the way. So look. You've got these patterns I'm showing you all, all in this hour I've been showing you. Straight line up, straight line down. Look, straight line up, and then you could start coming down. Cup formation, arch formation. The dreaded H means you take out that left side low, and you can go a lot lower. The, the green reverse Y says you take out that high, you can go higher. Well, lo and behold, what have we done? We're making the arch formation. You've gone under the left side low, but you've closed above it. That says oxy. If Oxy starts to trade on a weekly basis and closes any any Friday, closes, it's at 59.23. Under 56, um, that's going to suggest that it's in a digestive phase. But if it, if it pops up and goes back to the uh, 65 area, it's at 59 right now, over the next week or two, that just says stuck in a range, in the middle of the range, doing very well holding support, um, and that's the way I'd be looking at it. So that's Oxy. Not only that, there's a pattern here that I love. Just noticed it. See this? See, I love to take trend lines. Look at this. I go to the outer bands of the wicks. Sometimes the, the body of the candle. It doesn't have to be. And then I just try to draw a parallel line. You all have this on your technical tools on your, on your platform. And then I go to the outer. And there you are. It just is very simply. Oh, <clears throat> this is a pattern that I really like. It just makes lower lows and lower highs, or lower highs and lower lows, lower highs. Lower highs. In a range, in a very, it's a fairly narrow range, there's invariably a pop-up, and it breaks out of that range, and then this becomes support. So that would say the 200-period moving average of 61.67 will get a big test today if this is positive, if the earnings today are positive. All right, did that. Next question came in. Uh, it really makes sense. So, yeah, it's not there. Okay. NG. Oh, question over here. NVIDIA. Could you look at NVIDIA? NVDA. NV typed in the wrong place, but I'll type it in right now. NVDA. There it is. <clears throat> wow, doesn't this look like the apple that went up to the uh, up to the high and then with it, within the chapter wave inside track repellent zone? And then what happened is. It's, uh, it made a new recovery high, and it got repelled today from there. But look at this. The MACD is good. Sorry, the 90 is over the 14. The MACD is just barely good. The stochastic at 76% is okay. So this says to me there's a really good chance that NVIDIA, especially if you look at this left side, right side price time match, which it did almost, there's no such thing as almost perfect, because perfect means perfect, right? Well, it's almost perfect. Look, the high of 289.46 in the weekly chart back in April the 1st, the week of the 1st, at 289.46, slumps down to 108.12. If you use the plumb line right there, you get an equal number of bars to the right side 
that goes, look, this is the this is the day, the weekly chart, sorry, the weekly chart went to 272, give, give you the right price, 281.18, 289 was the target, but it finally did that and broke it. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. Basil Chapman sitting in for Tom O'Brien. Look, the Dow, the Dow at this point is down 24, SP is down 14. I just want to go over Cree again. This is the S&P regional, uh, regional Banks ETF. Um, just a horrible 78.81 back in January of 2022, and most recently that was 34.52 on the 4th of May. So this is what I'm looking at. The buying is starting to come in. You can see that. There are some people saying, you know, I think that, I don't know about individual stocks, but as a group, maybe we can start to find some support. Look, it did this perfect monthly arch formation, left side, right side. This is called bar symmetry as far as I'm concerned. Look at that. The month is not finished, but at least it shows that it did the Chapman Wave inside wedge uh, target resistance line perfectly. It did everything. So it's kind of done here. There could still be horrible news, but just I'm looking at this massive volume. So that just says if KRE starts to trade out of the low today is 36.64, just a tad below the stop that we put in. But if it starts to trade at 36.30, I say don't touch, just don't touch. But there's enough buying pressure that keeps coming in that says there could be a little bit of a rally to the high of a few days ago, which was at 38.48. Uh, if it can touch that just once, 
and then hold the 3790s, that would be really good action. Just I'm talking about just short term. Weekly charts still look to be okay. okay. With that said, I wanted to uh, just uh, finish up by saying this is what I'm looking at overall going into next week, going to uh, about a week or so, uh, the trading ban. Dow must hold the 33,200s, definitely the 33,000. The low that was made uh, five days ago, last Thursday, I think it was 32,937. If in the next week that's taken out, that just says big rectangle formation in the weekly chart. You can go to all the way down to the 32,300. But on the upside, if at any point in the next three sessions, there's a touch of this trend line that is now at 33,900, that would be really good action just on the short term. But looking out, I think we're stuck in a range for the next few weeks. We're just trading in a band. So have a wonderful rest of the day. Uh, check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. Uh, try my show tomorrow at 10 o'clock Eastern Time, the Tiger Editions out, and my service, the opening call. <laughs>